this video lecture, we will learn about temperature sensor. This temperature sensor has a wide range of usage. It can be used in daily household cooking utensils like induction. In induction, it is used to measure the temperature to get the current notification of the temperatures. This temperature sensor is also used to protect us from any accident like a fire in a building. It can detect a fire and can deploy the water-based cooling system. So basically in this video lecture, we will learn about temperature sensor in spin out, its interference with the Arduino and its test. In general, a temperature sensor is a device which is designed specifically to measure the hardness or coldness of an object. LM35 is a precision IC temperature sensor with its output proportional to the temperature in degree Celsius. With LM35, the temperature can be measured more accurately than a thermistor. I will tell you about the thermistor in later videos. It also possesses low self heating and does not cause more than 0 0.0 degree Celsius temperature rise in Australia. The operating temperature range is from minus 55 degree Celsius to 150 degree Celsius. The LM35's low output impedance, linear output, and precision inheritance calibration make interfacing to read out or control circuitry especially easy. It has found its best application on power supplies, battery management, appliances, etc. Like I have told you earlier, the temperature sensor LM35 series are precision integrated circuit temperature devices with an output voltage linearly proportional to the centigrade temperature. The LM35 device has an advantage over linear temperature sensors calibrated in Kelvin as the user is not required to subtract a large constant voltage from the output to obtain convenient centigrade scaling. The LM35 device does not require any external calibration or trimming to provide typical accuracies of quarter degree Celsius at room temperature and 3-4 degree Celsius over a full. It can easily work from minus 50 degree Celsius to 150 degree Celsius temperature range. The sensor circuitry is sealed and not subject to oxidation. The LM35 generates a higher voltage than thermocouples and may not require that the output voltage be amplified. The LM35 has an output voltage that is proportional to the degree Celsius temperature. The scale factor is 0.01 volt per degree. The LM35 does not require any external calibration or trimming as I have told you earlier. Another important characteristic of LM35 is that it draws only 60 micro ampere from its supply and possesses a low self heating capability. The LM35 comes in many different packages such as T092 plastic transistor package, T046 metal can transistor like package, 8 light surface mount SO8 small outline package. Now we will look at the pin modes. The positive side which you can see here stands for 5 volt and the negative side stands for ground. The S is the signal. These are some of the technical specification. It works in minus 50 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius as I have told you earlier and it is calibrated in Celsius. If you talk about LM34 it is calibrated in Fahrenheit. Now we will see its interference with the Arduino. So the plus pin of the sensor would be connected to 5 volt and a negative pin of the sensor would be connected to ground and the signal would be connected to analog pin of the Arduino that is A0. This is a very simple code. The analog to digital converter ADC converts analog values into the digital approximation based on the formula ADC value that is equal to sample into 124 divided by reference voltage that is 5 volt. So with a 5 volt reference the digital approximation will be equal to input voltage. The result of this code would be giving the temperature display on the serial port monitor which is updated every second. You can get the current value of the temperature at the serial monitor.